All right, guys. 2023. What a year. We're coming to the end here as it is December. Everyone is either reflecting on their year they've had or looking ahead to the future, focusing on their New Year's resolutions. It's always the gym. Why is the gym like always number one on New Year's resolutions or new habits into the new year? Anyway, it is the end of 2023. And I want to sit down and reflect on this year of business. As a freelance photographer, this video originally was going to be a recent projects, but the more I sat and thought about it, why limit it to just recent projects and why not do a year in review on everything that I was able to be a part of and got to do both professionally and also some cool things in my personal life. We're going to go back through this year, show off some behind the scenes footage and maybe even some final pieces of some of these various projects that I was on. First, I wanna start off with getting to shoot photo and video for Maroon 5. This was a project for MGM Resorts, which I was brought in to shoot photo and video recap for Maroon 5's show as they have residency at Park MGM. A little bit challenging in that doing photo and video, I only had one show to do it. Not only did I only have one show to do it, I was only able to be in the barricade for those first three songs, like standard show rules. Knowing that I had a limited amount of time in that barricade was pretty challenging to get photo and video. But then I was able to kind of roam the arena and you know shoot photo and video from there. This one was really, really exciting for me to be able to shoot a huge band like Maroon 5. I think the photos came out really good. I really love the video. The original audio on the edit was the live audio, which the team didn't go with. They just went with a studio version of the song, which kind of sucks in my opinion, because I thought the live audio version really tied into live video version, especially because at the end of the set, Adam comes out into the crowd and sings within the crowd. So that audio to me was really, really cool because the crowd is singing along with Adam. And I just thought that it really tied in the whole atmosphere of that live show, but hey, not my call. I got the call to work with UFC featherweight champ, Alexander Volkanovsky. Actually twice this year, once in, I believe it was July when he fought Yair Rodriguez. And again in October when he fought Islam the second time in Abu Dhabi. Both of those times were really monumental, obviously for me to be able to work with a client for a total of four times now. I'm very honored that I've gotten the call numerous times. I've already done videos on both of those recaps of UFC 290, I think it was, and UFC 294. So go check those videos out. I'll keep this brief and maybe I'll only toss up some film that I shot in Abu Dhabi. Sick New World. I got the call to jump on the photo team for Sick New World Music Festival that happened here in Las Vegas. Less than 24 hours notice. They emailed me the night before the festival. Something had happened with one of their photographers that they originally had on the team, some sort of emergency, obviously. So they were scrambling. Somehow they came across my name. Of course, I jumped at it. I don't recommend doing this like ever. But obviously this gig was last minute and I did have a couple prior gigs the Saturday that the fest was on and I had to cancel those. I had to move some things around, which I don't recommend. It's not a good feeling. It's not a good look as a professional. Sick new world called and I wasn't going to pass on this opportunity to photograph sick new world and also even just see some of the 
bands that I got to see like Corn and System of Down. Luckily, they weren't a wedding. If it was somebody's wedding, I absolutely wouldn't have canceled it. That's that's a hard no for me. This was an awesome experience to shoot a music festival like Sick New World, which was right up my alley. I've shot things like Day in Vegas before and Life is Beautiful, where I only know a couple of the artists. I even ran into a few friends. Just the whole atmosphere of everything was really exciting to be a part of. Hopefully, I'll get to shoot the next one. Um, I know I was a last minute audible, so I'm not the team's radar like that, but hey, you never fucking know. I wasn't scheduled to photograph corn and system, but I did get to watch them. So all good. I could have snuck in some photos. Yeah, I wasn't scheduled. So I wanted to just chill and actually enjoy it. Film and weddings. I shot a ton of 35 millimeter film this year. Most of it due to my weddings. If it wasn't for that, I definitely wouldn't have shot as much film as I did this year because I'm not rich, plain and simple. I'm not shooting this much film or myself. Shout out to my clients for that. Weddings and elopements were a huge part of my workload this year. And I've got to meet a lot of really awesome couples from all over the country and as well as some international couples as well coming from the UK. Australia, Canada, Ireland, and even Austria. It's a really interesting way to meet people. Speaking of music, I've gotten to photograph some of my favorite bands like Lamb of God and Gaslight Anthem, some really great performers, Steve Aoki, Nelly, Fat Joe, and Suicide Silence. Some of these were for the venue, others were for myself personally. Ooh, by the way, cheers. Death Wish. Death Wish or Death Proof? I don't have the bag because I emptied it in my little canister, but pretty sure this, whatever the one with this, with like the skull of the world's strongest coffee, that one. This is the hazelnut and it's honestly been my favorite. That hazelnut chocolate just hits. All right, so I'm probably gonna hold this coffee cup for most of the video because I don't know what to do with my hands while I'm standing. I've been on some cool projects this year with the team at Made Good. I went to LA with Gronk for FanDuel. We did fun lifestyle shoot for Taffer's Urban, as well as a creative studio session for some of their own made good merch. I don't know anything about soccer, but I did get the call to photograph BVB Dumont and Puma. Puma and BVB Dumont had a Jersey collaboration reveal. This was at the high roller at the link here in Las Vegas. The event was pretty cool because not only did they do a big jersey reveal, they had some fans and EIP people come in to get a firsthand look at the jersey reveal, but we also rode the high roller, which is the giant Ferris wheel looking thing in Vegas. It took up a couple of the pods and we got to photograph and video some of the team members for their first time in Vegas in the pods wearing the new jersey. That was a little bit different as far as event photography is concerned. Usually events are just kind of photograph people, step and repeat, but this one had quite a few little pockets of things going on. Really fun, plus I got to ride the high roller, try to take it in a little bit in between photos and whatnot. Speaking of sports that I have zero clue about, I got a gig with the NHL photographing hockey. I mentioned that in a previous video announcing that, so go check that out. I got a job with the NHL as an LSC, which stands for Live Social Contributor. Those games have been a ton of fun. I'm really getting into it. I'm really getting into my groove. It's awesome that I do work for the NHL because I'm trying to push the envelope on where I can go or what I could capture outside of just the sporting coverage side of things. And I, I still will do a video on like a typical night for me, come to work with me. So uh, stay tuned for that. I'm going to have that soon. Uh, that's probably going to be more of a real or TikTok than it is a YouTube video. Formula One recently happened in Las Vegas, and I was fortunate enough to get the call to work that for the city of Las Vegas, the Visitors and Convention Center. The whole Formula One footprint was absolutely insane to see all of the moving parts and everything that they had put into this of track and grandstands and VIP areas and all that stuff. This was a really crazy experience. Again, another sport. I don't know anything about. Per the contract we had, we weren't able to show off 
any of the actual racing. We were more contracted to show off the experience and the atmosphere. For me, as a, as a creator, that was kind of a bummer that I wasn't able to get certain access or to photograph some of the race itself. I was only able to show off the atmosphere. So, you know, the cars are not the focal point of some of my deliverables. Regardless, still a really awesome experience. And I'm still really grateful for the team over at LVCVA for another really awesome historical moment in Las Vegas. Some of the stuff the first night was cool because we were catching the driver's arrivals. So that was cool to kind of see the drivers um, and be kind of like in their proximity. And yeah, overall, the event was really cool. Two personal things. One, I celebrated six years married with my lovely wife, Ivana, as well as we took a couple cool trips like Greece in the summer, London, as well as a little mini trip to Palm Springs. So those trips are all really awesome. I've done some videos on Greece and London thus far. So I'll toss those up as well as some photos of my lovely wife and I celebrating our six years married, which is pretty wild to think about that. Uh, she somehow still deals with me and is not sick of me yet. So shout out to that. Lastly, another cool experience. I got to do some work for the women's NBA. This event was just event coverage at Mandalay Bay. All the things surrounding it, the atmosphere was really cool to be able to document all the different booths that the sponsors had and all the little activations as well as guest speakers to photograph and also a different side of things. Sports side of the event, you are more on the event and lifestyle side, which always keeps things fresh and fun and keeps you nimble as a creator. I've been very fortunate this year to be as busy as I was. But yeah, these were some of the more notable things that I am excited to share and show you and kind of touch on a little bit without dragging too much on. Hopefully you enjoyed this end of the year reflecting both personally and professionally. We'll see you in 2024. Cheers.